Here's a quick tutorial on drawing an interior design drawing for 301. So the first thing, of course, that I need to do is start with a new drawing and adjust my grid. And I always check my units. Now, I see from most interior design that they actually use architectural inches, which are in feet and inches. And I'll give myself one more degree on my angles. And I think to the nearest 16th inch will be fine for me today. The next thing I notice is I don't really have any layers yet. So I need to put layers in. And I'm going to show you a really interesting new way. It's from the Design Center using your title blocks. So I'm going to type DC for Design Center. And this cool thing comes up and you'll notice that I have my title block open and I think I'm going to be using a B size landscape title block on this drawing that I'm going to do. So I've got it open and since I'm in open, I see it and all these cool things come up. I can get layers right out of that drawing that already exists. And I think it says I need thick thin, I'm holding my control down to get them all at once, or I could just surround them all. I think that looks pretty good. I'll need some thick lines and some thin lines and some text. And I just hold my left mouse key down and drag it over and I let go. And lo and behold, all those are now in my drawing. I also think I'm going to need a dim style. Okay, because right now I don't have anything but my standard. So I can actually, out of that title block, get my architectural dim style. So you'll go to your title block that you put a dim style in. You can always just make it, but how nice that I can just pull it right in. And then the last cool thing, remember that insert block thing? Well, here it is right here block already exists so I can go to my layout oh and I remember I have to change my page size page setup manager you've done this before but probably need practice so I think I'm going to be PDF and I'm going to be B size full bleed full bleed that means no border and plot uh, landscape and I think I'm going to do grayscale. See how it looks. Yeah, that's how it should look. And then I know that I'm going to have to move my viewport, but let's put this thing in here now. I'm just going to hold my left mouse key down, drag it in and put it in place. And voila, isn't that nice? And then I can put all this stuff in here. DE, DESGN 301, Schuster, what is today? It's Sunday. Why am I doing this on Sunday? There we go. Probably the same reason you do. Drawn by, ROS, drawing title. This one is interior design number five. And I think I'm going to call it ID-D-05. I don't care. There is no scale but on these things usually, but I might put one in. And so I'm going to guess that it's going to be one half inch equals one foot. It just is a guess. Sheet number one, revision. This is the revision. So there we go. Got it. And now I can make my... Um, viewport fit to maximize this and I see that I got some extra stuff out here but I really just need to make sure move I just make sure I get my thing lined up here pretty well There we go. 
And now it looks like it's fitting on my paper pretty well. There. Well, how cool is that? So that's all my preparation, getting ready to do my job. Now I'll come back to my model. I don't need my design center anymore. I can always get it back. And I think I'm going to work on my thick first. And um, I'm going to... I'm going to actually paste my drawing in there as a reference so I can see what I'm going to do. And I see my first one is 36 by 119 and 5 eighths. So as you recall from my demo, I can go from where I'm at, 36 sideways, comma, 119 dash 5 eighths. Five slash eight. So that's my first. I think maybe I better make this a little bit bigger so it'll be easier to see when I'm at scale. So that's that's that part right there. And my next one I said was 48 by the same amount. So from where I'm at, 48, comma, 119, dash five eighths and see how quickly I can start getting this done my next one is 24 from where I'm at 24 comma 119 dash five eighths and then I got another 48 so I can just copy Dang, I like this interior design stuff. It's kind of cool. And after that 40, I got another, tw uh, this one's a 24. It's another 24. So I'm just making it out of rectangles like I suggested I would do. And then a 30. That's a new one. Thirty, comma, one one nine dash five eights, and my last one is fifty six and a quarter. By one one nine dash five eights. There we go. That's my basic layout. I got it right there. Now I see that I come down seven and five eighths and then eight inches all the way across. So if I draw a, a line all the way across and move that line, move straight down seven dash five eighths I've got that line and my next one copies down eight inches copy eight and then I've got a bunch of trimming because I see from my picture that it goes all the way across so very quickly I've got I've got a lot of good stuff I'm clicking it twice because there's actually two lines there. If I want to, I can sort of like use that window command, the whole thing. And then there's some sort of a little line over here. I'll get that later on. I'll get it later on. So now I have something that comes up four. So let me draw a line across the bottom and move it up four. Straight up four. So I try to do exactly what it shows. And th there's something here. It It's not really taking up the whole thing. So I can make another, another rectangle and start drawing that. So I'm going to make a rectangle. And I don't know exactly how big it'll be, but I think I don't even need to make it a rectangle. I can come up. How far does it say to go up? 
30 and 3 quarters. It's a little bit hard to read, but if you're an interior designer, you'll recognize that. 30 dash 3 quarters. There it is. Then I'll make a copy of it. And I don't know exactly where it's going to go, but it's going to go over here somewhere. And then my counter goes all the way across the top. I think if I do the perpendicular, oh snap, that'll work. And then that, that offsets one and a half. I know I'm going back and forth. 0.5. And it's starting to take shape. Now, this looks like it's cut in half. And then that's kind of cut almost in half. And that will probably do for what I'm going to do. So let me draw from the midpoint. Draw. And then this is just, I'll do some copies. Kind of making it look sort of like a drawer. You know, kind of look a little bit like a handle. And I think I want this to be a little bit closer. And when I look at it with my line weights on, let's see. Yeah, that's gonna look that's gonna look kinda kinda right. So now I can copy that. Because a drawer pull is a drawer pull to maybe there, and then there's one right underneath that. So that's how you go about adding details. And if my line weights are a little too heavy when I, sorry, we're, I'm trying to find my mouse. My mouse went away. There it goes. If your lines look a little too heavy later on, I can, I can change it all. I can change my line weights with my layers. So now I can do sort of um, another one here where it looks like coming up from here and starting about there and going over to say somewhere like this, I've got uh, an upper... I've got an upper uh, cabinet of some sort. And then an offset. And I'll do this through command so I can just kind of eyeball it. That looks pretty good. And then I'll do that again. Probably not as much. And these little items... These little things right here, this little symbol, means it's a piece of glass. That that means it, it's a it's it's glass. So that's a demonstration on how to get started. You just keep going and going and going. You got some good work to do.